Finney's. This way. Made it. Very special Friday video for you. I'm excited for it. So Danielle, the executive director of the Illinois Craft Brewers Guild, invited Corey and myself to the tapping of 1818. Woo! This is a mid-five a saison and it's gone over very well so far and we hope everybody else loves it. It's like a beer collaboration to celebrate the Illinois Bicentennial 200 years. Man, that's older than any person I've ever met. She's too old! So today, shut up. So today here at Benny's, here's Benny's, like the place to do beer releases pretty much. Yeah. Governor Rauner, the governor, it's not Arnold though. I want to be the people's governor. It's Bruce Rauner is here. Like the Illinois governor is here to tap this keg. The big dog himself. We're gonna go experience that with him. So come with us, don't know what to expect. Excited to get some beer, hopefully see you inside. Really, really well dressed people. People in here. ties and dresses. Ah. This is like a media event for this, and then we got invited, so it doesn't really. This guy with a corduroy jacket <laughs> with elbow pads made out of leather. Whatever, the beer's gonna be good though. We fit in, we fit in. Today we've got our own bicentennial beer, 1818. Everybody come out and buy it, like 1818 beer. I touch all products in Illinois. It's got uh, Illinois barley, it's got Illinois wheat, and oats in it, uh, uh, hops, and it's a great beer. I think we're now going to go tap the, the official uh, uh, beer keg. I did a lot of tapping of those in college. I haven't had a lot of this in years. I don't, know if the, I don't know if the technology changed all the time, but we're going to go try to tap this one. And again, happy birthday, Illinois. Go 1818. Never been this close to a governor before. Yeah, I don't think I have either. All right, there we go. Somebody have a picture. It's definitely coming out. A pro. Yeah. 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 Oh, nice turn. That's no first time, bro. <laughs> I love getting to know him from Petersburg, Illinois, right outside of Springfield. He makes great beers, and this is one of his best. 1818. Here's Happy Birthday, Illinois. 1818. Yeah. Good. Glasses out here for everybody. Oh, we don't mess around here. Everybody should get a taste. You're gonna have you get a taste. It's one of the great things about this job. I don't have to wear a necktie, and I can have a beer during the day. Come on, grab some. Who needs a drink, huh? Who's thirsty? Pass it back around. There you go. There we go. All right, Sean, you want to take a little sip here with me? Yeah. Everybody get one. Let's have a toast. Yeah. Let's reach in here. Everybody, let's clink glasses. Can everybody reach in here? There you go. Come on, Rocky. Come on, okay. Vinny. Reach in. All right, there we go. Okay. Happy birthday, Illinois. Happy Cheers. birthday, Illinois. Yay, Illinois. Oh, that's delicious. So good. I like that. So good. Outstanding. Good job. That's why Corey's the enforcer. He made sure you were the... It's as if Bruce hired you to like pass him around and not pay, pay, make people feel awkward. You know? It's just like, I got, who wants a, who wants a drink? Be I hope I got that. Who wants a drink? Who needs a drink, huh? Who's thirsty, eh? That's an old school Corey move. That was, felt like I was back in college in the military or something. <laughs> that was awesome. So it only felt right to find a secluded spot in this tap room in Benny's to really review this because clinking glasses with Bruce Rauner was That's pretty so sweet. dope. That's pretty cool. That's so dope. Um, so another cheers for you. Cheers. I'm really going to take in the taste of this. Yeah, let's see what we got. I mean, it's just so good. It I tastes like it. it tastes like something everybody would like. It's like you a taste. universal, very, it's kind of like a white. It's like, what's it's your like, highest flavor profile? It is kind of like a white. It almost tastes like a, to relate it to people who don't drink a lot of beer, maybe like a blue moon. Yeah, you know why? Because I'm getting all that wheat. Yeah, it's like you, a get a lot of, wheat you get a lot of, of wheat. Sort. You get a lot but of it's wheat. It's not here. so, like, I don't really 
usually care for wheat, but it's not such an aggressive wheat taste that it turns me off, you know? Yeah, it's it like turns a, me on. Like, but y'all don't say that. I mean, the coloring's really nice. I think everybody, like, if you're a I beer drinker, it. they made sure to hit everybody. Like, And it's kind of cool that they, like, everything that, it was all, all the ingredients, everything that has to do with its processing, all, canning, Illinois. all done in Illinois, which I think is super cool. Yeah. Keeping it local. Yeah. Should, should I hit them with one? <laughs> yeah, they need it. They need it. You guys, I know we're at this official event, and we are the, sure, I'll have a drink. You can't do that here. They needed it though. They I needed, know, I, they, I they needed that. Time for me to go steal all the sober people. Right, we're gonna we're gonna try to get more beer. This might not work, but Danielle, thank you for inviting us to this event. It's awesome. Super awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this got a full one. Blue jacket. Uh, you, sometimes there's just an angel I that comes into your, your life. Face. You know. I, face. I like this. Man? I like this crowd that just doesn't want to drink. She was walking all through. Who wants a beer? I'm like, yeah, right. Hey, in the back, I'm ready. Oh my god. You're so amazing. Thank you so much. Everyone's so afraid to drink. What's going on? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Everybody's on the clock. Right. I get it. We are too. That was easy. <laughs> yeah, right? Bartender's so awesome. Sometimes the uh, world just works out in your favor, you know? I love Everyone it. here is like real journalists. I used to be in this world. I told Corey I left this world to like do stuff like this, like to make myself the focal point because I'm arrogant and... You got a hole right here you're trying to fill with attention and love. Right, you know? so... I got it too. We both got it. And if that's what it takes... Yup. <laughs> I'll show you how valuable our woods can be. So kind of a big deal, Mike and Bree, who brewed this delicious beer here with us at Benny's. Guys, congrats, by the there way, so on awesome. winning this. So what was the process? You competed with another beer, you won, and then you brewed this. Like, talk about that. The Bicentennial Commission decided they wanted to have an official Bicentennial beer for the celebration, right. and uh, the way they were going to decide who got to brew that was have a competition at the Illinois State Fair. So they invited all the Illinois breweries to, to bring a beer that would be voted on by popular vote and also by uh, a panel of expert judges. People who love beer. People who love, love beer. <laughs> Obsessed Absolutely. with beer. We should have been on that. Yeah. Uh, we said now that man, what do we want to take? You know, you, you, you gotta play your crowd. We're right. going to the Illinois State Fair, it's gonna be hot. There's gonna be a lot of people who aren't beer geeks there. Yeah. So yeah. we decided on a beer, uh, we called What the Fuzz. We took our cream ale, which love is that name. a light, easy drinking beer, beautifully refreshing. We thought, man, this is perfect for the Illinois State Fair. Yeah. And obviously it was. Yeah. You right? play to your crowd. You gotta know your audience. You gotta play know, your your audience know your people. audience, people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and it worked. So we won. On that now we're like <laughs> now we gotta yeah. now oh we gotta work really gotta hard now right? we've got to come up with a beer now for the state and right most importantly is we wanted to have something that was about Illinois uh, yeah. Yeah. celebrate this so the yeast lab that I use almost exclusively for brewing is Omega up here in Chicago okay what better than a farmhouse ale for an agricultural yeah. state yeah. Like yeah. Illinois yeah we know a guy who's about 40 minutes away that has has a hop farm played around with him a little bit uh, you know farmhouse ales are about grains that you have on hand so we right. got to use Illinois grains so right. corn Wheat, oats. First batch we did was a hit. So I like just knock it out of the park and, like right away. Just Absolutely. do it. Do just it point out. and swing. I love <laughs> it around, man. I love it. He called the shot and it was gone, <laughs> people. <laughs> And it's delicious. You guys, yeah, get, you get, if you're not in Illinois, find a way to get this. Yeah, Do this some trades on Beer good. Advocate. Make it happen. You, you guys knocked cheers? it out of the park. Cheers. 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 Awesome. awesome. Bree, awesome. Bree, I'll drink for you. Right. <laughs> you guys are killing it. Thank you so much for doing Thank this. Thank you. Check them out. It's incredible. And we might be doing a feature three and a half hours from Chicago at their brewery. So comment you below got, if you might want to see that. You got to come check our tap room out. It's amazing. Yeah. Thank awesome. you. Now, All right. We're just finishing this. Well, I, will you finish up? I finished. Oh. Let's. Drink it, Chicago. It's always good. Dude, you want to go to Epic Burger? Yeah, you kidding me? Let's, Epic Burger. Let's go. Yes, yeah, so when you drink a lot of 1818, you got it above We didn't drive. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, so we're not reviewing this. This is more just like a necessity, like Sean and Corey need food. Mm -hmm. Oh, we gotta review this at some point, y'all. This is good. Today's not the day? No, today's not the day. Today is like necessity of like, we have stuff to do the rest of the day, so you need some grease. But there might be a day. I think so. Oh, man. It's really good. good. I've never been here before. I want to talk about it, but I'm going to leave you hanging. Also, no no hate on Grey Poupon, but who uses this? I think from commercials, I think it's only people in limousines. Excuse me, do you have any Grey Poupon? Like, would you have any Grey Poupon? But of course. That's enough for these guys. You guys, you know what? If you want to see this, 
turn into another day. Yeah. Peace.